Am I the asshole? For turning around and going home on my way to the airport for a girl's trip. I was supposed to go on a girl's weekend trip to Spain with my long-time friend of almost 10 years and her other female friend who I was excited to meet. We all live in Germany, but her and her friend live about 3.5 hours away from me and I live closer to Frankfurt. They decided that they wanted to drive through the night about 10 hour and arrive in the morning and said that if I could meet them in their town I could drive with them. I instead elected to just fly over and meet them there since I live so close to an airport. The day before the trip she texts me a link to book some tickets to a museum that her and her friend booked. She told me to book for 2 p.m., which is when they booked for. When I clicked the link, the only time slot available was 8.35 a.m. I pretty much was like whatever I will do something else while they are doing that. The night before the trip I text her asking her how much I owed her for accommodations and whatever else that we are splitting. This is the second time I've asked her since her friend was the one doing the bookings and I just assumed I would send them my share when they told me how much it cost. She didn't answer but I just assumed she was sleeping to prepare for the long drive. The morning of my flight three hours before my flight leaves she tells me that I had to book my own hotel room because they're having a guy friend come with them that they invited last minute. She sent me a link so I could book at the same hotel as them for that night, but all the rooms were fully booked. I searched around the area too and all rooms were booked or very expensive. I really wanted to go so I just kind of let it go and prepared myself to spend some extra money for a hotel room for myself in a different hotel, but on the way to the airport I had a gut feeling that I wasn't going to enjoy myself. So I turned around and went home and sent her a text saying I was going to sit this one out because I was expecting a girl's trip. She's being short with me now and thinks I'm being unreasonable. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. They absolutely booked three tickets to the gave it to the guy, just as they gave your bed. Your friend is a shitty friend. So they book tickets for the museum. But don't bother to book a third for you. And don't bother mentioning it to you until the day before. They book a three person room. But don't bother to let you know what it's going to cost. And then don't bother to actually make it available to you either because they're bringing a bloke along too. I totally agree that's not a weekend you want to be a part of, they've made it abundantly clear they don't care about you. Good call in sitting it out. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You were just going to be a third wheel to your friend and her friend, who did not include you in museum bookings and then ditched you last minute to share a hotel room with a guy. So you'd be in Spain trying to fit yourself in with whatever plans they make together? Nope. You did the right thing. Not the asshole they kicked you out of your hotel room on short notice, they are the ones to talk for Forsten. Not the asshole. It really doesn't sound like she wanted you to come and you are probably right that it would have been a miserable trip. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Dare such assholes. That is so fucked up and you deserve better and you should be proud of sticking up for yourself. Now when you remember this moment you'll think I had so much courage and strength. Not the asshole. Your friend, on the other hand, really is an R. You were an afterthought in everything she and or her other friend planned. Time to look forward to adventures with new friends and keep this lukewarm one on the shelf. Not the asshole sounds like her friend was prepared, and your mutual friend couldn't be bothered updating you on time-sensitive matters. Also I hope you could get your flight reimbursed. Not the asshole kind of friend is this. She was booking things yet not including you I also think you would not have enjoyed that trip, the loss of a friend like this is not a loss. Not the asshole. It sounds like your friend and her other friend didn't communicate well with you about the trip details and last minute changes, which is understandable why you felt uncomfortable about the situation. It's also understandable that you decided not to go on the trip if you had a gut feeling that you wouldn't enjoy it. It's better to take care of yourself and your mental well-being instead of forcing yourself into an uncomfortable situation.
not the asshole although, I would be more clear why you're upset so they don't blame it on there being a man present. Their actions were pretty rude and letting them know that could help them understand they're in the wrong. They gave your spot up to a guy and iced you out of the plans. That's messed up. If they just invited a dude and he had to find a different hotel, that'd be different, but it's that they sold your spot to someone else. Not the asshole, it sounds like this person is no longer a friend. Info how can it be a girl's trip if the guy is also going? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I'm glad you trusted your gut. Not the asshole. They didn't seem like they were doing much to make sure you were included. I wouldn't have wanted to go and feel like an outsider either. From the get-go it doesn't look like she wanted you there. If I travel with someone then I would obviously ask them if they were interested in going to a museum and if yes then booking it for both. That was the first sign and everything done afterwards just makes it more clear. I would really reconsider your friendship because it seems one-sided. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your gut is right. Not the asshole this trip sounds like misery in the making. Not the asshole, you saved yourself some money and an awkward weekend. Not sure why they decided to ice you out but they did. Good for you for catching on and saying, no thanks. Not the asshole the guy they decided to bring along got your place in the hotel, your ticket to the museum, and was going to get your fun weekend. You were absolutely right in following your gut. Not the asshole. They didn't care if you went or not. Not the asshole it's not your fault that your friend is a poor planner and I too would be annoyed at all these last minute changes to the group's plans. Not the asshole. They literally booked nothing for you and when they told you there wasn't any time to book anything with them. That was a good indicator on how things would go. Then they replace your spot with a dude they just wanted to tag along. Yikes. I think they only invited you because you're very likely a bit of a pushover or have money and thought they'd be able to push their costs onto you too. It is so fascinating that people who consign a friend to be good enough for leftovers or to not have full friend status, get salty when that friend decides none if that is okay. They kick you out of the room and you're unreasonable? No. Why isn't the guy getting his own room? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Good for you for reading the situation right and bailing. Your only mistake, if any, was telling them that you weren't coming. It was far more than just a guy being added to the group. You were completely left out of everything. Not the asshole. What they expected to happen after they told you that you won't be in hotel with them. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. They literally left you out of everything and expect you to just figure everything out last minute. She's being a bad friend to you and I wouldn't go either. You would have been left out. Nadar. It ain't a girl trip is a guy is coming, it's two people you don't know, you weren't going to enjoy it. Not the asshole your original friend is likely putting you second to her new friend and doing whatever she wants with the knowledge that her old dependable friend will always be there when she needs a fallback. Bye bye old friend.